One of the things that I think is really interesting about AV1 as compared to the prior generations is if you look at, you, you, know, you talk about you get, okay, 30% better performance. If you look at where you get those gains, um, HEVC got most of its gains at high resolutions, right? Um, you add larger block sizes, larger transforms, and all that. Um, this time around, that's not what we're seeing. Yeah. So what we're actually seeing is that those 30% gains are relatively uniform across all bit rates um, and across all resolutions. And, and, and what that means is that you're actually going to be able to start targeting um, a lot more of the world um, with, with these kinds of improvements. So you, know, you start looking at places like, like Africa that don't have the greatest internet infrastructure where you can save 30% of your bit rate there, that starts to make a really big difference. Um, so, so I think AV1 is actually going to be able to target a much broader use case, set of use cases um, than, than HEVC was enabling. Do you think that HEVC is going to stand still? I mean, in other words, are there more optimizations that are, cap that are available in the HEVC world? This is generally true with any codec, right, is, is the, the performance you get out of it when the standard is frozen is not going to be the performance you get out of it five years later, it, Exactly, right? yeah. We saw that with H.264, for instance. Right, yeah, and, and, and we're going to see that again with AV1, right? So, so I, don't, I don't think any of these codecs are going to stand still. Like, we continually get smarter about, about how we make encoder decisions, and I think there are probably plenty, pe plenty of people in this room who are working on those exact problems. The reason I also believe AV1 will be probably more successful is because this time there are a lot more companies around it. Mm -hmm. um, chip manufacturers are really supporting it, and even they were very present during the um, spec design. Um, lots of commonalities with WP9, which makes time to market a lot faster, um, and it's royalty free. So all these things, so why would someone um, doesn't go for something free and better, even by 5%, even if it is equal to HEVC? Um, and I think they, we will see AV1 deployed a lot faster than lots of people believe. Um, that doesn't mean HEVC is to die. It looks like the broadcast market is more of an MPEG-related standard um, uh, industry where you see all the TVs support HEVC, so lots of set-up boxes with HEVC. So all, all the devices that are for traditional TV broadcast are HEVC capable today. So probably that's what the market that will be covered with HEVC. But as soon as AV1 becomes mature, uh, we'll have browser support, even Twitch will is, is part of the development, and we added the feature actually um, to even improve our latency uh, compared to HEVC and uh, VP9. So it will probably within a year we'll start seeing streams being generated.